Good afternoon, I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. We've had quite a bit of a development in the Gulf of Mexico as the National Hurricane Center now tracking Tropical Storm Milton. This has been upgraded to a tropical storm. It was Tropical Depression 14 about an hour ago. It's moving northeast at three miles an hour. We're seeing this system become more defined into that center of that low pressure system as it tracks off towards the northeast. So as we look at the forecasted track of this system, it is expected to be strengthening into a Category 1 hurricane by 7 p.m. on Sunday, eventually Category 2 hurricane by Monday evening, and eventually also impacting the Florida Peninsula as a possible category two hurricane by the middle of next week. So Florida likely to be impacted by another hurricane at least the second time in the past two weeks. So as we look at the spaghetti plots, models are still uncertain on an exact location, but they are in agreement that it is going to be heading off towards the east and towards the Florida Peninsula. How far north and south of that landfall impact is still the uncertain part, but it's something that folks uh, in Florida really should be tracking at least in the next couple of days or actually the next week or so as uh, potentially this could provide some possible stronger impacts than what we saw with Helene as a Tampa area likely to get the full blunt of a hurricane in the coming days. So as we look at future track, you might be asking yourself, why is this staying away from Texas? It's because next week we are going to be tracking a cold front that is going to be moving through the deep south. That's going to bring a dose of drier air in place. It's going to keep that system well south of us and keep that system off towards the east in the coming days by next Wednesday. So we're going to be high and dry here across Texas but very unfortunate for the southeast US as they are going to be impacted by another storm. Also, we're dealing with very warm waters in the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures are in the upper 80s. It only takes water 85 degrees or higher to fuel that tropical development, and it is expected to be uh, rather warm. So it has lots of uh, mileage to go to fuel that storm as it progresses through the Gulf of Mexico in the coming days. We also have two other named storms out in the Atlantic Ocean. We have Hurricane Kirk, which is a Category 3 hurricane, and then Hurricane Leslie. These systems are expected to remain over open water. Eventually, Kirk likely to form into a tropical depression, maybe a remnant low, it's going to bring some rainfall to Europe and Leslie likely to take more of a similar path to Kirk. But we already crossed off Milton on the list. Now we have Nadine, which is next. So it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to get through more of these names for this hurricane season. But it's also an important reminder that hurricane season lasts until November 30th and begins once again next June of 2025. And as always, you can get the latest tropics update on KHOU.com and on the KHOU 11 app.